This video is sponsored by Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10. It's that time of the month, which means breakouts will happen without fail. Anytime I'm about to start my cycle or I'm on my cycle, I will get breakouts usually around my forehead and temples. However, my skin has gone through so much in the last two years, so I will take these few breakouts and not complain. In the beginning of 2020, that is when I started to experience hormonal adult acne and it really came out of nowhere. I've never had perfect skin, but Man, I did not see that coming. I just had very painful kind of cystic acne throughout my cheeks, just everywhere. So if you're currently going through hormonal acne, like I get it, it's hard to feel confident when that's all you can see. A few things that helped me was number one, I saw a dermatologist. I think that's super important, especially if you're dealing with severe acne. It's always great to talk to a professional. And then I started to familiarize myself with ingredients that will help with acne like benzoyl peroxide. I think your skincare regimen is super important and for me it was really just minimizing. Getting rid of all those extra steps and just keeping it very simple and just introducing a product one by one. It took about a year and a half to get my skin to this point and by no means is it perfect but Again, I'm okay with this, and I've accepted the fact that every time I'm on my cycle, some friends will come through, but that's okay. The product that I've been using for spot treatment on just any smaller breakouts is the Clean & Clear Persa Gel 10. This has 10% benzoyl peroxide that effectively treats breakouts and helps to prevent them from reoccurring in the future. It's also free of parabens, oils, fragrances, dyes, and sulfates. I just take the tiniest amount onto my fingertips and then just pat it in directly onto my breakouts. I reached a point where I don't have to use medication every single day but when I am on my cycle and I'm experiencing a few breakouts I'll just spot treat with this once in the morning once in the evening just make sure if you are going to be out during the day to apply sunscreen. So if you struggle with acne or occasional breakouts I would give the Clean & Clear Persa Gel 10 a try. It's available at Walmart. Very affordable. I'll leave the links down below and thank you so much to Clean & Clear for sponsoring today's video. Mm. The ultimate games. <laughs> oh, wow, this lighting. It's like beaming. I just parked. I'm waiting for Julia. We're grabbing lunch. I haven't seen her in so long. I don't know if you guys know this, but Julia is one of my closest friends here in LA. We don't see each other often, but whenever we do, it's like nothing's changed. Julia's just been one of those friends that I can hit up whenever about anything and she'll show up for me and be there. So I, I really appreciate the friendship that we have. Um, so I'm excited to catch up with her. So it'll be nice to just, oh, Julia.
you don't get this, it could steal one of the dogs. So scared. Why don't I get a shoe? I'm just on Instagram because I asked you guys to submit a light or meaningful question just because I thought it'd be a good way to have more of a dialogue in my vlogs. I know I don't speak as much. I've noticed that once you start working on a piece of your life, then it just opens your eyes to more things and then it, it just feels like there's never ending things to work on like for example you know i felt like i was disconnected with my my work and the videos that i produce so i've been spending more time on thinking of ways in which i can tell a better story and feel more connected and be more vulnerable when i finally opened up about my mental health something just clicked for me it just felt like i could breathe and i could just he my f self. So much has changed about me in the last couple of months and that's translating into my work. I'm putting in hours and hours of my day into editing. By the end of it, the final product is something that I'm like, wow, okay, like I did that and I, I pushed myself and I challenged myself and it feels great. But then, I, I realized that process of getting to the final product, it is so mentally exhausting. It's just not normal to have that much screen time and that's why I got like the blue light protection lenses because my eyes were actually hurting from being strained all the time. And obviously like editing isn't labor intensive, but you can fuck up your back because you're just in these positions for so long and that's why I got an ergonomic chair. When y'all know good and well, I do not like the look of that ergonomic chair, but <laughs> I had to talk with my sister and she's like, Sophie, you need to take care of your body. I'm like, okay, fine. So best decision ever, by the way. There's always this polarity. There's an area of my life that I wanna work on, I work on it, but in the process, something else is being sacrificed. Do any of you feel that way? And maybe that's just life. I don't know, sometimes I feel like there's a way to kind of meet in the middle. I haven't found that yet, but, ugh. See, this is why I don't answer questions because I just go off on a tangent and I just literally go everywhere with my stories. It, it's just not like organized or focused. And then by the end of, Whatever I'm talking about, I'm like, what was the question? What were we even talking about? <sighs> if you guys saw the amount of times I have tried to talk to the camera and absolutely just tore myself apart while looking at the footage, it could be a five minute clip of me talking and I listen to the first 20 seconds and I'm like, delete. I don't even wanna see it. Because obviously with YouTube, there's editing. You can chop up clips and take it out, but then it looks so choppy. And I don't really like watching that kind of talking video where it's just so jumpy. I just want it to flow. <laughs> but my flowing just goes all over the place. And disclaimer, <sighs> I'm not saying any of this to try to have you feel bad for me. I'm just like having a real moment because I have a lot of flaws and I'm a very much normal human being that probably goes through a lot of the same that you guys go through. It may not seem like that all the time because a lot of content creators show the highlights of their life and I've been guilty of that. I always had the mindset of wanting to make someone feel more lighter and happier after watching my videos. That's not reality, is it? Like there's 
always going to be the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows. So yeah, um, I got through one question. I guess we're gonna have to save another question for another time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go shower. And hopefully I don't delete this clip. Sophie, don't delete this clip. Just use it. Just, it's fine. Just use it. I'm feeling so much better today. I get so much anxiety the moment I start to feel unwell. That means I physically am not capable of doing the normal things, you know, my routine and working and working out. I do have a pretty strict routine. I, I love structure, I thrive off of it. And it just felt like a huge inconvenience. And I was just really frustrated at the fact that I was getting sick. Now, in hindsight, like this is just the next day, but I already feel so much better. And I really do believe it's because I took the day off. I noticed that I've developed an unhealthy relationship with productivity. You know, I've been self-employed for a very long time, as long as I can remember. In my earlier 20s, I definitely didn't take it seriously or I took a lot for granted and I was very young-minded. I just didn't have the work ethic. And as I got older, I realized the importance of structure and discipline and I just became like overly uptight. On the weekends, you'll never catch me just chilling. So I'm grateful for getting sick, even though it felt like a huge inconvenience at first, but then I just surrendered to it and I was like, you know what? You're not doing today. You're just gonna sit on this couch watch a show, order food. It was good and I'm feeling so much better today. I had such a good day today. I just felt so much gratitude for my health and my body, being able to recover after just one day of rest. It was just a good reminder to slow down and not guilt trip myself for relaxing or not being productive, which is something that I struggle with, but I'm gonna actively work on. So if you're anything like me, I hope this reminds you to take breaks. You know, I do have my daily practices where I'm mindful and it is like me time. However, I realize that it's still a part of my routine. Even with your practices, you still have to think and your mind is still going. So I'm talking about like, just do nothing. <laughs> um, I think our bodies need that and it's, good to have that balance so that was the takeaway for me and i'm feeling so much better and i really just 
enjoyed my day outdoors with the dogs. I just want to say thank you to Clean and Clear, Persa Gel 10 for sponsoring this video. Um, check out the description box for more info. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.